Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular lecture we are going to learn about how to use JavaScript with HTML right okay so uh, before starting let me tell you something about JavaScript right so what is JavaScript JavaScript basically uh, tells the browser that how to behave when a user perform any action on the website you can take an example of your body human body in your human body if I compare it with your website or web uh, you can think about it like the bone of your body the skeleton of your body gives the shape to your whole structure right so that's the role which played by HTML now your skin gives the beauty whatever the beauty you have is because of your skin right the way you look so that's the role which is played by your CSS now coming up to the JavaScript what JavaScript does now all the bones are functioning right you bend your bone and yeah, so that you can walk so that you can move your hand and perform the other tasks now the same thing occurs with the website that when you want to perform any particular action how it comes how it perform it occurs with the help of JavaScript so that's a basic uh, description or I say the definition about JavaScript I hope you get a bit, little bit understanding that what it is now let's come to the visual studio code and understand that how you can use the javascript with your html let's go so this is our visual studio code and here you can see i'm having three different files one is html file which name it index.html second is style.css and third having a sample.txt in the sample.txt file we are actually going to talk with each other through the text right and these are the two main files i think that you know a bit about it earlier that's why you are here right okay so this is the uh, boilerplate of the html right here i am i had done few of the things like in the main tag uh, i have put a heading that is subscribe the channel which you should if you are watching this video and in the css uh, i have written a little bit of css right and I had made it live on our server and it looked like something this. Yeah, right? Okay, fine. Now, for the starting with JavaScript, what the first step which we have to do? Yes, you are right. We have to create a JavaScript file first. For that, uh, let's create a JavaScript file. So, what we are going to do? Uh, we are going to name it. Normally, we can name it by any name which you want. But fundamentally, or in the nomenclature, we normally do it by script.js right normally we write the name of the javascript file as a script there's no such rule but it is a good practice right okay now how to connect it basically let me uh, write something there are three main method of writing javascript or connecting JavaScript with HTML. What are those three steps? First is your inline. Inline, right? Now, how this inline occurs, like how it can be worked, right? So, let's understand that. Let's come to our HTML file. Here you can see I am having a main tag and having a heading here. Let's create a button also. Let's create a button. So, for that button, I am using a button tag inside the button tag I'm writing click here right okay now for implementing JavaScript with the inline JavaScript what we have to do normally we do it within the tag the tag which we put in tag also we are uh, we write our JavaScript code how let's see like in the button tag what is what are we going to do is that we are going to write click on click when we write on click what actually happens it actually occurs that on the particular action when we click on that particular button which we have put here the kind the what the particular javascript which we want will run now how it is let's write it alert and uh, hooray sorry it should be in small quotation mark right single uh, that uh, hooray right okay let's see on our website 
so you can see here right a button click here now when I click on it what do you think it will do when I click on it you can see uh, alert is shown here how it is doing how it is occurring just because we had put a JavaScript with that particular button tag understand how it is doing it is doing with the help of JavaScript we had put this JavaScript we have put this particular code into our HTML file with the help of inline JavaScript so this is how it is done right okay I hope you get it now the second method is second method is our second method is internal 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 JavaScript so how it is done let me show you so first uh, understand that internal JavaScript code is written inside a script tag with the help or within the same HTML file how it is working let me show you that how it works so a script tag first under understand that what is a script tag right let me sh give you a small example what is a script tag so a script tag is written in this form a script a script that is right I hope you get it so this is how you write the script and where we write it we write it inside the head tag inside the head tag or or before the closing body tag now this is the two main thing right so what is script tag a script tag basically tells the browser to run the javascript code written inside it or from any external file but we are going to use the internal so what we are going to, uh, here particularly in this internal javascript a script tag actually runs the javascript code that is written inside of it let me show you how so uh, what i told you that you can write it inside the head tag either here like uh, the way we connected the our CSS with the help of link right the same way you can also use the script also script tag right or either you can use it here like the script so normally we write it at the end right uh, for the CSS we write it at the top and for the JavaScript we write it at the end to make the code quite clear to understand right okay now inside the script tag just uh, I'm giving you a small example right uh, okay let's write a function and let me remove this particular JavaScript inline code right now every time I'll reload my website you can see here you can see here that what is happening it is this particular alert is running how it is running because I have put it inside the script tag and this particular code is showing that every time the website gets reloaded you have to make an alert which is saying that yay javascript code runs so this is how you write your javascript code in an internal javascript right in the in, inside the script tag now we are coming to the most important part that is making the javascript an external file as you can see here i have put a javascript file here right so this is basically a external javascript so external javascript is placed in a separate .js file and linked using the script tag how it done let me show you inside the script right you simply have to do one thing that is you have to go inside the opening tag and write src src means source and what is the source source is your script.js file script.js file is present here right so what you have to do is simply just go on this script.js file and now write all your javascript code here whatever you write inside the script.js file is being implemented inside your html file let me show you that whether it is working or not like in the uh, script tag let's write uh, okay we added we removed the earlier code yeah okay so uh, what i'm going to do let's make an alert right let's make an alert and alert says what this is external 
JavaScript, right? Okay, let me show you. Every time I'm reloading the website, you can see here on the top it is showing that this is a external JavaScript. So it shows that our JavaScript is also working by putting it inside our external file which we connected with our main HTML file through the script tag. So uh, you will say that Bhaiya, uh, what it mean when I say that what is the use of all these three different type of JavaScript file like why should I use it uh, either in a inline or in an external or in an internal what is the use of it let me explain you a little bit that what it mean and when we use different JavaScript and then in which condition right okay so for the inline now what we do is that for a small task we use the inline JavaScript right when we don't need a very big code or something uh, we need don't want to make the thing very uh, like professional or something that we are writing uh, CSS in different uh, JavaScript in different file we just want everything in, in a single page for that we are using inline and when we use internal we use internal uh, basically it is good uh, for small pages right when we uh, want the things to be quite clear so that uh, every time any other coder or any any other person come to see your code it should look uh, beautiful right it is look uh, like uh, it is quite impressive for other and uh, it is clear for them so basically it is good for the small pages and when we do the big and the large projects for that time we use the external JavaScript that is best for big projects right I hope now you get it that when we use three different type of JavaScript files right the three different ways the JavaScript is done is internal external and internal I under, I think that you got it and uh, this is how it is done so there is nothing uh, very much difficult about it I have told you everything which is required to understand uh, that how to implement your JavaScript with your HTML I hope you get it if you get it then uh, show some love to this lecture uh, tell me in the comment section that what you uh, liked about it and do you have any confusion or anything else uh, I'll try my best to reply to each and every question which you put in the comment section and uh, thank you so much for watching keep loving and subscribe the channel thank you